play a little game. <laughs> After losing anywhere from 60% to 99.9% .9 of any given coin's value, with some notable exceptions, are we now out of a bear market? Bull market confirmed? <laughs> Firstly, bull market is subjective. There is no black and white answer here. Only, I guess you could say, general consensus. But here's the reason why. Let's say we all consider a 50% gain um, for a coin over the space of two years. Okay, bull market, sure, why not? Even 100%, 200%. But what happens if those gains happen within a month? What happens if it goes over a week, a day? Very subjective. So it's more a question of time rather than gains, but both going hand in hand, still subjective. Anyway, let's firstly look at why it's not, no, why it is a bear market still. Long-term technical analysis can still be bearish. Now, what I, what I mean by saying can is that it depends on the indicators you're looking, and it also depends on the time frames you're looking. So, for example, I'm sure a case can be made that's bearish for a moving average for Bitcoin. At the same time, a bullish setup could be derived from a moving average. At the same time, the same indicators, RSI, it goes on and on. So, But no matter what indicator you're using, the fact of the matter is Bitcoin keeps posting lower and lower highs, which is considered very bearish. Thus far, Bitcoin's not been able to beat resistance at 42, 43, maybe even $4,400. And we all know what happens when Bitcoin fails to post a higher high. It happened all the way down from 15, 10, 8, 6. Plus, a popular theory is that we have not seen a true capitulation wick form on the charts yet. And there can only be a recovery once the masses have fully capitulated. It's not happened yet. We are going to retest previous all-time highs from the last bull run, which means Bitcoin still has a way to go down. Now, it's pretty scary when you look at it like that. But let's take a look at the argument why it is a bull market. There already was a capitulation wick when Bitcoin went from six to three, and that is the bottom. Bitcoin bottomed out in December at 3,200, and it's been steady sailing since then. It's now at 4,100, just above. That's around a 28% increase in Bitcoin over the last four months or so. It's also been alt season, where every coin, even if it's in the top 10 or not, can pump 10 to 20% in a day been pretty nice most attempting technical analysis over the next three four five six year period for bitcoin predict wild price increases the setting of new all-time highs that just make your eyes water looking at literally some get their hopes up of institutional offerings to help make this a reality things like fidelity backed etfs but even without those a potentially weakening of the usd as well as negative interest rates but even aside just the Bitcoin halvening alone, all this stuff can get even the most parched crypto investor tongues salivating at the thought. <laughs> and there's a lot more I could talk about that I'm not going to for the sake of brevity, hash power, transactions, wallets, etc. You name it, I'm sure you will let me know what I'm missing out. Volume. Ultimately, bears are going to point to the fact that we still have yet to re retest the all-time high from the previous bull run. Bitcoin still has a way to fall, while bulls will point to the fact that the greater trend line is still intact. And hey, the past echoes, right? Uh, just because it happened once before does not mean it won't happen again. And the burden of proof in disproving that theory lies with the doubter parabolic trend curve it's got many names uh this is where we're at right now the blue line indicates where we could go if true right if that would mean a quarter million dollar almost bitcoin by late 2021 pumpy brakes key but wait a minute how about a middle ground must it be always a bull or bear scenario seriously it's not discussed very often what about a llama market now, in a llama market, there is no grand conspiracy theories about price, there's no predictions, there's no pointing to technical, fundamental, or even spiritual, no, sentimental reasons for price action. That's just silly. A llama considers that if Bitcoin dumps, that means 
people sold. And if Bitcoin pumps, it means people bought. And if it happens quickly, well, maybe it was a whale, but that's about it. A llama is also very patient and is aware that the sideways trading of Bitcoin, yes, fluctuating a few hundred dollars here and there, but the general trend might continue for this entire year. A llama does not predict the future. For example, with the way the economy is going, there is maybe going to be another global recession within the next two to three years. But the fact that Bitcoin did not exist during the last global recession means the llama does not know whether that's going to be a good or bad thing for Bitcoin. Let me know what you think. Bear, bull or llama market? Or does it even matter? This is stupid. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.